Light Rock 96.9 WFPG. We're speaking with one of the South Jersey nominated lifeguards. There's a few from Atlantic City. This time it's Megan. Megan, thanks for taking some time out this afternoon to chat with us. Oh, of course, no problem. So it looks like you're sta- you're on the beach in Atlantic City, the photo that you sent us, and you have a couple awards with you? Uh, yeah, I do the um, singles and doubles races for Atlantic City for the um, South Jersey races that we do. And you train for that. I mean, you have to stay in shape for the, the summer season because you guys have to be able to swim at long distances at, at any time. So it's a lot more than just sitting on the stand uh, watching over the ocean. You guys are really active, aren't you? Yeah. Um, every morning we get two hours to run, swim, row, whatever we need to do so that we can be in shape and mm-hmm. be ready for any kind of rescue or anything. What's your favorite part about being a lifeguard? Just because, I don't know, I really just like doing it. I've been doing it since I was 16. Um, I love all the people that I do with. Mm-hmm. I like that it's like something that needs to be done. Like everyone needs to have a lifeguard. I get the sense, you guys, the lifeguards, you're like a little family. You're very close-knit and you're you're pulling for each other too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you have to trust everyone because if you're on a rescue and you don't like the person or you don't trust them, right. you, you get worried. You have to like count on one another. Have you noticed that the, the crowds this year have seemed to be bigger than normal, maybe in, in even the past couple of years, especially on the weekends? Yeah, definitely, especially on the weekends. We usually have to stay late because people just won't get out of the water. And even during the week, I've been surprised with how busy it's been. I think it's probably because it's just been hotter. And it's always a great idea not to swim at an unprotected beach. Yeah, definitely. Um, We usually try to keep people off the unprotected beaches. And if they don't listen to our whistle, we'll have to go out and tell them to come back in or (laughs) help them out. And there, but there's always a couple that just could be a major pain in the you know what, right? Oh yeah, definitely. They think that they're Olympic swimmers and can do everything. (laughs) I'm like, no, you can swim in a pool, but not. In the ocean, it's very different. Right, and then you're out there trying to reel them in. Right, exactly. Thank you, first of all, for all your hard work. Congratulations on your nomination, and uh, best of luck. We have a nice uh, uh, grand prize. I wish we had something to give all of the lifeguards because you guys work so hard and so <laughs> passionate about what you do. But have a great summer. Stay safe, and thanks for all the work that you do, Megan. Of course, yeah. Thank you so much.